Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I have the Odroid Smart Power 2. This thing is awesome. I've been eyeing it for a few months and Amerodroid was kind enough to send one over for review. If you're interested in picking one of these up, I'm going to leave links down below to Amerodroid. They have all kinds of stuff for single board computers and different electronics. They are based in the United States and the shipping is super fast. All right, so this is a power supply for single board computers or pretty much anything that is powered by 4 to 5.3 volts. This will do up to 5 amps. It has Wi-Fi built in. You don't need to use the screen, but you can. It will monitor the voltage, the amps, the watts, and the watt hours. With a firmware update, you can also do logging. This unit does cost $42.95 on Amerijoid's website. Before anybody goes crazy about the price of a power supply being $42, these are my single board computers. Most of them run on 5 volts. I would like to monitor some of them. And I have power supplies that range from 1 amp to 2.5 amps. This will put out 5 amps, 5.3 volts. So I really wanted to get one of these. The Smart Power 2 is my favorite accessory I've ever received for single board computers. I'm not just blowing smoke here, I've messed with it for about two days, but I'm the kind of guy that gets excited about an 18 gauge USB cord. So, alright, I got it all set up. I have a Pi 3, the C2, and an Asus Tinkerboard. I'm using the Odroid C2 plug, that's what I'm going to be testing in this video, but it does come with a bigger plug for like the XU4 and a USB cable. So here's the unit. USB, you have your power out here. USB also does power. We have our display. Now this is not necessary because it uses Wi-Fi. We can monitor our voltage, wattage, watt hour over Wi-Fi. We can also adjust our voltage here from 4 volts to 5.3 volts using Wi-Fi. Pretty awesome. It'll work on anything from your PC to an iPhone to an Android phone. Just connect to the SSID open up a browser and go to the IP address that's displayed on the unit here, and you're good to go. Okay, so I have the Odroid C2 hooked up to the unit. Now, it's not on right now. The power is not flowing through the cable yet. There's a button on the board, but I wanna control this using my iPhone over Wi-Fi. I'm gonna connect real quick. And turn it on. There we go. So everything is displayed on your browser or the LCD that's connected to the board itself. You can turn the voltage down to 4 volts or go up to 5.3. On the phone or the display, it'll show our voltage, our amps, our watts, and after a while, it will calculate the watt hour used. I get excited about these kind of little things here, and I know it does seem expensive, but if you're dealing with several different single board computers that run on 5 volts, you should definitely invest in something like this. The unit can also output through the USB port that's connected to the board itself, and it did come with a USB cable, but the USB cable is not high quality. One of the main issues I get on my channel is people commenting, there's a lightning bolt on my Raspberry Pi. It's because you're using a cheap power supply or even a cheap cable. I'm gonna demonstrate this now using this cable versus a high quality real LG cable. I have a 2000 milliamp hour battery bank here. I have the cheap cable connected. I'm gonna turn it on using Wi-Fi. And if you look at the amps here, we're only at 0.9 amps, drops down a little bit, not even one amp. This battery pack can pull way more amperage than this. Now it has to do with the cheap USB cable being input in here. We're not even getting one amps. To charge this, it will take forever. I'm going to switch to a high quality LG USB cable and I want to show you the difference between the amperage. Nothing has changed. I'm running this at 5.3 volts as you can see and we're getting almost one amp. That's it. Let's move over to the LG cable and I'll show you the difference. So you don't need to use just an LG cable. There are tons of great cables on the market. I'm going to turn it on and we're pulling 2.1 amps. 1.1 amps more with this cable than the cheap cable that came with the unit. This cable is also carrying six watts more than the other cable. So it's definitely a big difference and this will translate to your single board computer. If you're using a cheap power supply and a cheap USB cable with your Raspberry Pi, you might get that little lightning bolt up in the corner. 
might not seem like a big deal, but you do run the risk of corrupting your SD card and not getting enough power to the Pi itself to perform at its optimal capabilities. So I'm super stoked about this power supply. I know it's a bit expensive, but I am assured, I'm guaranteed now that I will not be running my single board computers at a low voltage or a low amperage. Like I said at the beginning, you don't need the bulky LCD connected to the board at all times. You can use your PC to connect over Wi-Fi. I do like having it to have that visual reference in front of me all the time. My final thoughts on this board, it's worth the money. The only downside that I see is I have a few newer single board computers that run on 8 to 12 volts, but I see what Odroid did here. They set it at 4 to 5.3 so nobody messes anything up. If this was adjustable, there's a chance you could have it set to 12 volts, plug it into a 5 volt board, and fry something. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. If you're interested in picking something like this up or even other Odroid products, definitely give Ameridroid a visit. Links in the description and on screen now. Like always, thanks for watching.